Hello everybody, I'm Luis and let's talk about uh, multi-DPI images for Revit. So yeah, uh, yesterday I already shared some icons in here for high resolution, depending on your screen. So I'm going to update in this video uh, these icons. Uh, I'm going to create all the files and share how I'm doing. So yeah, uh, but first uh, let's take a look in here in the uh, icon design guidance for Autodesk. Uh, have this section multi DPI, so yeah, this is a great explanation. And uh, in here is saying five DPI scales, the same that I shared yesterday, uh, but same for a PNG. But I'm gonna ba basically join all these uh, files in a single one, in a TIFF file, and use that inside Revit. Yeah, and here's a project that I'm gonna update. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, first, I already add, uh, where is it? Yeah, I'm gonna use Ink, Inkscape uh, to uh, create that files. I already have uh, these uh, icons uh, SVG. Uh, I'm gonna open that and uh, let's use Inkscape because it's free, open source, and I can do a lot of stuff. So yeah, here's all the icons that I'm gonna uh, create for a TIFF file, uh, you basically can uh, select everything and if you go in export, if you don't have that, you can go here, uh, export, I'm gonna appear this section and I can click in here in the bunch uh, export and basically gonna export all these uh, selections or groups in, uh, in a lot of ways. So I can uh, export in, uh, in PNG basically with the 96 DPI. So I click in here, should export everything just to sh click in here. Yeah, it was a little fast. And export everything in uh, PNG with the basic uh, 96 uh, DPI. This should appear uh, like that icon inside the rabbit. So I gotta delete this, I don't, I don't want that. So, just to show how you can do it. And I could create each one uh, with all the DPIs. I can add in here and add something like this. One minus two, this is two X basically. And I could create something like this, one minus two. Yeah, can I export every single one, create each file. It's not a good idea, but yeah, you can do that. So what I gonna do, I, I create a extension exactly to create that TIFF file. And if I click in the configuration here, I can set the base DPI and can uh, add in a single TIFF file all these uh, DPIs with the standard for Autodesk. So yeah, that's the idea. And if I select that, uh, do the same thing and click in export, uh, should export uh, basically, first gonna export for the five scales with the correct DPI and uh, gonna join everything in a single TIFF file. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm gonna create all the files in here and let's wait to finish. Uh, yeah, okay, let's basically copy this. Uh, let's copy this one uh, and let's move in here to the resource folder, yep. I don't know why it's in here, let's delete that. And yeah, basically all this, the, the files uh, with uh, the option for high resolution uh, screen. So yeah, and if I go in my project in here, uh, I can, I don't need that, let's delete this. Uh, and uh, first uh, to make work uh, with this project, I'm gonna click all the TIFF files and I need to change the build action to uh, resource. Yeah, like that. So I'm gonna select everything, it's gonna be easier. And let's change to resource, yeah, resource, great. Uh, if I build this, uh, just to make sure, I already uh, have this project inside my Revit, it should appear in here. I'm using my plugin app loader to do that. So I'm gonna appear in that, great. Uh, now let's uh, replace all the icon files that I'm using to that one. It's basically only the size, the small size, the 16. 
But anyway, uh, let's try. Let's try something like like this. It's a little messy this project, but no worry. Let's select only this uh, current documentation. Yeah, and let's change to to file. Uh, let's replace that. Yes, five great. And basically, I guess that's it. Uh, let's build again. Uh, let's make sure I'm using the last version for my uh, library. Uh, 70, no, I need it to be 7.1. Uh, how I can do that? Where is it? Where, where, where? Uh, in here. Yep. Let's add something like this. This should force to update. Let's go. Great. So now I'm gonna using the last version. This should make sure my uh, to select the correct resolution for the image in my monitor. Yeah, to fit the best scale, and that's it. Yeah, here's the basic the comparison. Compar comparison. Yeah. So yeah, this is much uh, sharper that you can see the border. Anyway, uh, if I click in here, this should uh, change to the white. Uh, Team. So yeah, that's working fine. Pretty sure. Yeah, that's working. Great. Yeah, that's the idea. That has a small border. Yeah, everything's working like should be. Uh, let's click click in the start just to make sure that the other icon is correct. Yeah, I don't want that. So yeah, everything is working. Great. So that's the idea. So that's how I'm doing. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, that's how I'm doing. Uh, great. Uh, so now let let's release that. I guess. Okay. Let's go in here. Uh, create a new version. 1.2.2, maybe, yeah, that's 4, 1, 8, uh, account, 2, dot pip, and I need to be something like 2 in here, 1 in here, 3 in here, great, and what else I need, uh, I kind of need to update other image, but yeah, it's not necessary. Uh, and in here, I need to update, where is it, the version 2? Two. 2, yes, only that. And let's add in here as well, update, ground dot, red dot y, to version 3. One support tip image, yeah. So that's basically what I did. Uh, great, that's it. So let's release this, and uh, it's good enough for me. And yeah, it's, it's done. Yeah, I just need to create a pull request to release the new version, anyway. Uh, that's basically it for this video, but uh, if you are interested in this extension, uh, let's show how I'm doing. Uh, if you go, in, I'm using the version 1.4, I guess. Yes, 1.4. If you go in the extensions, uh, manager extension, uh, you can go in that. And I'm using this, basically this extension that I created, by the way. So yeah, and if you go in the install and find for a uh, tip file and uh, yes, <laughs> and you can find this uh, export multi uh, DPI TIFF uh, and you just install that. Uh, if you can, it's open source anyway, you can take a look in here. So yeah, anyway, that's, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. 
and don't forget to subscribe in the channel see ya